Let's learn about Google Classroom. The first step in building your Google Classroom is navigating to the website. This can be done in several ways, but the fastest way is to use what I like to call your Google Waffle. When you're on Google Chrome, you'll find your waffle up here in the right hand corner close to your profile picture. Click on the waffle and you'll see all of your Google apps. You can drag and drop these to order them in the way that you would like. Click on Classroom and we'll head to your Google Classroom site. Here you'll find any Google Classrooms that you're a part of as a student and also any that you have created as a teacher. If you see someone's profile picture, that means you're a student in their class. If you don't see the profile picture, that means those are the classes that you are the teacher of. Let's create a new class. To create a new class, we're going to click Create or Join Class with the plus sign. We're going to create. Let's call this one Sample. We don't need a section or a subject or a room this time. Let's just click Create. And here is our sample class. Inside our sample class, we'll see all the things that every Google Classroom has. We see the stream, which is the page that we're on right now. The stream is where all of your students will find what's happening in the classroom. Every time someone posts to the stream, whether it's a student or a teacher, the information will come up here. It's kind of like a miniature Facebook for your classroom. The classwork page is where you will create your assignments. The people page is where you will manage the students and co-teachers if you choose to have those. And the grade book is where you will manage your grades. The top bar gives you a photo if you would like to leave the default or you can click select theme and you can choose a theme. They give you several choices that you can choose from. Or you can upload your own photo. So you could choose anything that you wanted. Let's get this one. I know it's long enough. And you'll want to drag it to the right of proportions. There we go. Select the class theme. <laughs> You'll also see your class code. This is the code that you will give your students so that they can join your class. If you click the little brackets, it will make it large so you can display it on your projector so that they can see it. You'll also see up next to your Google Waffle the settings cog. Inside the settings cog you can update the class details. You can also change the code. If for instance uh, you wanted it to be a different random set of characters you can click reset. Here is where you will change the settings of the stream depending on the level of your students or if they are perhaps abusing the ability to post and comment on your stream you can choose it to students can only comment or you can choose to switch it to only teachers can post and comment. You know your students best and you can choose what works best in your classroom. Uh, you can also choose classwork on the stream. Do you want condensed notifications or all the attachments and details or you can hide notifications and only have what you want to post on the stream. You can allow deleted items to show up or you can leave that off. And if you choose to add guardians, you can choose to let them have a summary of your child's, uh, your student's work 
and they will get a summary of their child's work each week emailed to them. This is also where if you want to set up a Google Meet link, you can click the Generate Meet link and it will give them the link. And this is also where you will find the grading calculations and how you will set up your settings for that. All right, this has been a quick overview of how to set up your Google Classroom. Now let's move on to more specifics.